Hi everyone. Uh, first of all, I would obviously thank Pavan and others also. This is some kind of like new experience to me as a like biology uh, PhD. Uh, as already Pavan mentioned that we are meant to be scientists. So this is some kind of very much new to me. And it all happened because uh, like last year, one of my uh, senior, he was my uh, immediate senior. He just uh, transitioned into industry from uh, again, uh, the biology background. And uh, he was like, and not bench worker, like most of his work was only in uh, computer based. So still he was a biology major. So then only it, it actually came into my mind that the, this could be a career option because that that time I was actually uh, not feeling well now uh, with my uh, like uh, postdoc experience. So I am now like two years postdoc experience. Now it's my third year. So the first one I did, it was like horrible. Uh, like there is no pressure, nothing all, but my career, nothing, nothing was there. So I just uh, like a uh, bench lever for them, nothing much. So no pressure, but no gain, uh, only the money. So that's all. So then I left and I joined at UNC here in uh, North Carolina. So my boss, like one boss was like super cool. So he was a doctor, he's still there, but uh, he doesn't care much about science. So I was just doing the same, almost like negligible amount of uh, work. So nothing was there for me again. So then I was really frustrated and it was actually, it was dangerous because then I already joined second year of postdoc and second postdoc mostly and nothing was working out for me. So I was really, then it was dangerous also and I was really frustrated with everything. So then I somehow, I uh, got to know about uh, this session, Pawan and everyone else. So. I just wanted to join, that's all, because that time I did not think much. I was just so. Then and after the second year, uh, this actually changed. My postdoc circumstances situation changed thoroughly because uh, in NC, we are actually working under a big boss. So I was previously under two boss divided. So this super cool boss and that other big boss. So somehow uh, that big boss, uh, he didn't have anything for me. So after first year, some kind of he dropped me and I joined with another, uh, another he, uh, she's also a doctor. And that lady is actually again, like he uh, helped me regain my uh, like interest in science again. So though it happened in last five, six months, now I'm happy with uh, the work I'm working with her, not the other boss, obviously. But anyhow, you know, it may happen. So right now I'm in a dilemma. So what to do? Like uh, Ranjit only mentioned that only less than 1% people actually uh, gets the faculty position from uh, actual after doing PhD. So I have not ever this uh, percentage, then I could not have done the PhD itself. Anyhow, <laughs> joking. So yes, uh, uh, it may be whatever, 90, 90%, whatever. So yeah, this is the normal thing. And the most important thing is that in my grad and even in PhD, uh, we did not have any like career counselor or whatever. So we actually really didn't care about anything. Like we did not know anything. So we, we are not in a situation to think of any career option or whatever. So this is a very, uh, obviously this is a very good thing. So if we can do that in, not only in our postdoc or even in advanced uh, stage. So what already he mentioned, like uh, you can do it in like at least uh, two steps, like uh, the persons, who are already in PhD, I mean, early in their PhD, preferably in first or second year. Not after that, because that actually, they already got to know everything. So, and you, they cannot uh, like get out of their PhD after two years. So it's better to catch them early. 
and also in this adverse situation what we are going through now so and about the course you know again i am a very novice so i really enjoyed these things and some of the uh, like uh, suggestions you made i think it's not only applicable for uh, career transition also like it can be applicable for any other things in our life so we are actually i am actually very much you know grateful for that thank you pawan and obviously uh, some things are really new to me because i did not have any idea like networking i did not know that it was so important here in us i actually uh, heard about this thing from people mostly from like other uh, career options like mainly it and other people but not in science i did not really know and also the linkedin as you already uh, shown in one of your sessions that uh, the recruiter mostly rely on their like uh, they rely mostly from their inside pool not from the actual uh, like the advertisement you already told me so i was not aware of these things like we i only can uh, convince people who are like the professors mainly because i am like now i'm confident that i can get a another post doc that i know but not another like any other industry job that so this kind of confidence again like uh, before four months ago also i did not have that confidence but right now i think yeah at least i am confident that uh, maybe it will be a rough path for me but i can get it so that confident is like you know very much helpful not only for any career but you know in every aspects of life also so i'm thankful so again i'm not uh, very much experienced like the other people here so i cannot give you suggestions mostly i enjoyed but yeah that uh, one suggestion uh, i think couple of people already mentioned that if we can uh, like express or share our experience over the failure like uh, failed attempts i would say so that would be really helpful because you know if we get it uh, it clicks then nobody uh, like nobody is uh, recalls that thing or remembers that thing so it will be helpful i guess so that's all and thank you all again